This playthrough is rated M for Mature. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Valdemar back here with another episode of Fable of the Lost Chapters. In the last episode, we finished reading books to the children. Well, not all of them and not all the books, but we did a good deal of it. So we did our good deed for the century. Mm. Now time to try, try to finish some little... Try to finish some little quests before we get to the end game stuff here. So I'm going to try to find some silver keys. Maybe not find all of them, uh, but find like a good deal of them as well as like finishing some other minor quests that I've missed. So for one key I missed a while back was uh, if you go up to the second floor of the clothing shop over here, or armor, whatever you want to call it, there's a silver key. Missed that a while back. I could have swore I'd gone through every building, but I must have just skinned past a couple of them a while back. So there's that one. Uh, yeah, today's basically this and maybe the next couple episodes are me just going to be kind of going through... Um, just like areas trying to find everything that I've missed uh, along the way so uh, so for those who may, may be looking for a specific um, so basically those who are looking for plot for a while um, I do apologize on that but I kind of want to I wouldn't say I'm, I, I probably won't be able to find every single little thing in the game but I'm going to try to find like a good deal of it I find silver keys at least most of the ones I can get most of the chests from as well as trying to open the rest of the demon doors which I should be able to do most of that pretty soon um, I mean yeah I could probably cut to the every time I uh, I got a silver key but I thought it would just be apropos just to kind of show it since this isn't the most informative, uh, yeah, that's annoying. So this isn't the most informative, uh, playthrough, and it's kind of just mine. I just kind of do, oh, time to kill the guy for, really just so, no, come on, kill this dude. I just want the evil, de uh, evil deed type of thing. Alright, there we go. There, is he dead? He's dead, right? Okay, good. Just like so get the evil points from it. Alright, so anyway, there's that key there, and the next key is going to be in the uh, cave with the hobs. It's actually back where... Oh, that's just Moonfish, because I already grabbed that from before. Sometimes certain links will get new ripples added to them, um, but all it is is just uh, Moonfish. So if, you've already, if you know you've already fished a place and you see a new ripple there, it just means it's a, a Moonfish that you can catch. So, anyway, I'm also going to see if I can try to get this door, demon door to open. I've done it before on another file. I guess I could load that if I really need to, but I'll try to see if I can show you. I told you a while back how to do it, but now that we've got that troll outside that keeps popping up, um, we have a better chance of... Uh, of uh, Uh, getting that times 14 because we have to get times 14 um, uh, combat modifier to open that door so you have to be I mean if you're really good at it, you could probably get higher than that and be okay but the way I got it is I barely got 14 and taught to the door before it reset on me uh, really fast so but uh, yeah before we do that we'll uh, go ahead and uh, go to there. I don't want to start ra racking up a combat modifier now, because basically every time you have combat modifier and then you go into the next room or whatever, it automatically decreases the modifier by half of what you currently have. So you have to be careful in that case. So you want to try to build up a high combat modifier before you leave the cave to deal with the troll. And the troll usually gives you about, about four to five combat modifiers if you do it right, but all right, first of all, let's get this. I should have gotten this a while back, but I don't know if I had the um, shoal or dig, uh, if I had the shovel at the time, but it should be over, yeah, okay, over here. Um, for what we need, we actually don't need to find every single silver key. We only need to find 20 for the purposes of this story. Of this story. I think the Lost Chapters extended uh, like epilogue stuff has a few extra keys, but uh, we only need about 20 for what we need. So anyway, going down there gets us our another key. I'll try to find as many as I remember I can. I did some a little bit of play testing earlier just to make sure I kind of knew what I was looking for. Now I'm just kind of just rushing through through what I did before. I could have teleported out here, but now that I want to try and do that demon door, I want to at least try to show you that. You actually get a, wep a decent weapon for doing it, although at this point I don't know if, the, if it's worth it for me to... Uh, Oh, by the way, doing this during, like, my slowdown period, for some reason, like, some of the modifiers stopped going up after a bit, so I don't know if it 
if it's the slowdown or how fast I'm killing dudes, but you can tell that after hitting it like once, it kind of slows down quite a bit. So, yeah, one of the ways I've just been getting through, uh, ah, come on. One of the ways I was trying to get through these is like, uh, try to get the, uh, modifiers up is just to kind of whack in them once or twice, uh, so I can get the, um, uh, okay, that's slowing down, so we'll just go to the next dude. But yeah, I basically tried to only smack him maybe a couple times to get the modifier decently up, and then go on to the next dude, uh, so you can get the most credit out of that, see so, how, know, how after smacking him, like, maybe, like, one or two times kind of reduces the, I want to try to have, and not get hit, God, that would have been really good if I hadn't gotten hit there. Ugh, man, talk about, talk about the time and coincidences, you know. I also want to make sure that the things out of, like, I'm not on slowdown time by the time I leave this place because, uh, it's, it, uh, it hurts if, when we go outside because of, uh, okay, let's see if we can get out there quick enough for the, okay, that's pretty good. Basically the reason I want to have not slowed down by the time I get out here because the, the troll I want to spawn, you know, will spawn slower if you don't, if you have the slowdown thing not activated, so it's kind of a, Toss up trying to get it to. You want it to spawn, but then it. Okay, here we go. That should be. Hopefully, I get lucky enough to get a. Nuts. Okay, we'll have to go back in. I need a nine. So it looks like it, he does give you five. Um. So, but I need a 14, unfortunately. So let's go back in here one more time. What I'm gonna do is I'm basically gonna slow down time, smack everyone once, and then by the time I get back to the front, there should be enough, they shouldn't all be dead by the time I, uh-oh, ah! Uh, they shouldn't be dead, so I'll be able to have enough dudes to hit on the way back too. Cause the, the thing I have to worry about is the multiplier going down by the time we, uh, um, get to the uh, the front so if I basically if I smack everyone once you know get that get that big multiplier going on and then keep going back Good, I almost, I almost got... oh come on that oh oh you stupid wizards I hate you that was a really good run too like I was at 17 by that point that would have been great I may have to uh, unfortunately like leave the cave or go into another room and then come back. Yeah. That's... I could possibly get another run. Although by the time I do that, it's not going to work. Okay, let's just run out of here and then I'll do it again. Nuts. That was a... That was pretty good too. Which is kind of screwed up. Because I had a 17 until I got hit. I think I'll be able to do it this time. It's... It's a bit annoying, I'll admit, but... Uh, you know, because you get that really high multiplier, and you're like, all right, I've got it, and then all of a sudden just someone just conveniently hits you by accident or whatever, and you're like, ugh. You know, that's how. Where are you? Oh, the... Okay, the troll didn't want to appear this time. Great, thanks. So I'm not guaranteed a, droll, a, a troll drop, apparently, every time, despite me going through that door. Great, awesome. I appreciate that. All right, anyway, let's... Uh, man. Things I do to try and get uh, try and get the multiplier. The things that really annoy me the most on doing this are the wizards because they might have started a spell by the time I I get to them and then they and then it hits me because it's the most it's the one that's guaranteed the most to smack me out of all the out of all the uh, uh, creatures is them. Maybe if I hit them just like once or twice should be fine. At least that'll get a. Of course, that might end up killing a lot of them, but that's fine. Let's keep smacking them. Okay, that should be... We might, we might have gotten lucky there. The only bad thing about killing these dudes or trying to test out your, uh, um, test out your might for this is, uh, is, a uh, not might, test out, I don't know why I said might is uh gaining all those good points so if you're a so if you're a uh, uh, uh an evil character trying to uh stay evil killing any enemy is unfortunately good points for you so that should be enough even with the 
half off. That should be a nine, right? So that should be as long as that, as long as the troll appears like it should, we should be good to go. Yes. Okay. Good. Good. Yeah. Come on. Did I, I was about to say, did I activate way too quickly? Okay, good. Okay, come on. Oh, yes. Whew. You are the man. Get your ass through here. Get your ass to Mars. Whew. That was close. It was like really close to almost not getting that either. Ugh, I really don't like messing with that, uh, that one. I mean, it's not, uh, it's not super hard, it's just annoying, more or less. Alright, finally, after all this time, we can now go inside the demon door. There's only one left, uh, uh, one demon door they haven't opened. There's still plenty of chests I haven't opened, but there's one more demon door, and that's the, uh, that's the door in Twin Blades camp where you have to have the bright armor, which there's a good, there's a pretty good, decent spot to get bright armor, uh, or bright chest plate, because I've already got the Dark Will outfit, and I've got the bandits thing, so I'm good there, so... Anyway, let's open up the chest for that demon door. Shall we? We get the Cutlass Blue Chain. I don't think that's actually... I mean, it's not a bad weapon, but I don't think at this point it's good for me. But let's see. I could be wrong. Let's see. It's the same... Except, see, this one's got silver and sharpening. Which raises its attack power, basically. This one gives me lightning augmentation about the same... I just, it, it's not as good as, like, the axe for fighting Balverines, but... Uh, anyway, uh, the Cutlass. Though Cutlasses were the weapon of choice for the old shipmasters around Hook Coast, Blue Tain was part of a legendary treasure that was never used in combat. Its hunger for blood is palpable. Hey, you know what, we'll, uh, put it on. Why not? Something new. We've been using the axe for quite a while, although we got the axe for marrying Lady Grey. So it's a, it's a five birthday present. Anyway, yeah, not too hard, but yeah, it is easier to get that multiplier at this point in the game than it is later on, or than it is earlier in the game when I first came across the door. It's possible, but you have to like be really lucky about about your uh, like your enemy drops and and what spells you have and stuff like that. Like either slowing down time is pretty good, or if you want to keep consistently keep your modifier without getting hit, getting shield is pretty good too, because then. All it does is every time you get hit, it just weakens your mana. And as long as you're aware of your mana length, you know, just drink that potion. So, anyway, we have to go through Darkwood again to get the another key that we're missing. We're going to go ahead and run past all these dudes. Don't need to fight them. Like I said, one of, the, one of the nice things about just having slow time is that I can just skip a lot of this nonsense without getting attacked. So random encounters aren't so bad for me. Unfortunately, we do have to run in quite a quite a ways in this place before we can uh, uh, get there. I'll have to come back here later for uh, to do the Temple Scorm thing. I still have yet to do that. I'll the probably the, the annoying thing about doing the Temple Scorm is getting getting basically sacrifices, which you have to convince people to follow you into the Temple Scorm. And I think the only way to really do that effectively is to not wear scary outfits. So I'm gonna have to off screen go find some. Uh, uh, let me kill one of these guys to get my dark dark points up a bit. Ah, there is mainly because of the uh, card of the guild for you. Mainly because of the, all the good points I got for killing those hobs. Yeah. Okay, let's see if I can run through them. Yeah, it doesn't do enough damage to really annoy me anyway, so I'll just take the hit. All right, this next silver key is actually kind of a. Easy to miss, especially if you're not paying attention to the traders that that follow you, because you only find out about this clue through the traders that are going through this place. They'll make a mention of it, but I think when I was doing it, I was fighting some dudes, so either they were running away or something, so they didn't uh, tell me about this one. So uh, let's see, it is down this way. Oh, let's kill, kill this dude. He didn't do anything to me, but I want dark side points. Give me dark side points. Luke, I am your father. Join the dark side. Blah, 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 blah. Anyway. Sorry, dude. Innocent slaughter. Okay. Anyway. Yeah, you guys get smacked by them. I don't want to miss that. Oh, wait. There's also a... Okay, here we go. Oh, there's also a chest here. I almost forgot about that. Yeah, let's just kill these hobs so we can get them out of the way. 
He's like, I, you saved me. And I'm like, nope. All right, anyway. All right, let's uh, do this. But yeah, apparently the, when you first come through here, the traders mention something about the hole in this thing. So if you shoot an arrow in there. A ta-da! A silver key! All right. Like I said, you can miss this one and still be fine, but, you know. For completion's sake. I still don't remember every single key and everything else. And we don't need to go back to the bordello because we got the uh, demon, devil door there, demon door, whatever. But anyway, there's a silver chest here for 15 silver keys. It gives us the Arkans crossbow. This would have been nice a while back, especially for my uh, ranged attack, but it's actually really good. Look at that. It's, well, I mean, okay, I haven't upgraded my crossbow in forever, so if I had, it'd probably be a bit better. But in this, this case, it's a lot better. It's got silver for silver for balverines, flame, and piercing, so go through armor and stuff like that. Uh, in the massacre of Olagon, Arkin was left for dead. Among the rest of the fallen army, after it succumbed to a surprise attack, he put together the cross, this crossbow from pieces scattered throughout the battlefield and used it to hunt down every last one of the ambushers. All right, let's put let's put that to use. Well, I mean, I haven't really been utilizing archery in quite a while, but oh well. All right, there should be one more silver key here in Dark Woods. I think it's in the final area before we before we get out of there. I think it's supposed to be the ancient colus cult colus area, whatever. Anyway. Yeah, I think at some point maybe I should make a quick recall point here just to, uh, um, just so I can get to the temple. It's kind of annoying that you can't just, uh, like, teleport to the temple, scorn. I thought I saw a ripple there. Just for that one quest. I mean, you don't need to do it, but it does give you a pretty good bow from what I remember. It's a regular bow, not a crossbow, though, so you have to be kind of aware of that. And you also get a title. And you lose a, and you get a knock off a few years of your life. Uh, well, knock off a few years. I mean, it gives you youth when you do it, as well as the uh, um, Temple of Avo quest line. But anyway, the ancient Colus Gate is where we get our other other key for this area. It's actually pretty easy to miss. I didn't even realize that until I was looking over like missing items notes, just to kind of show you what what I missed throughout the game. I mean, obviously, there's better guides or people who've shown specific videos of just the keys and edited it the right way, but, you know, why not do it while we're here? I think if you angle the camera right, it's either here or the next one. It might be the next spot. Yeah, I think it's the next area. Uh, there's actually a ripple for a key. There's actually another key not too far off in uh, near Oakvale, too. Actually, I think it's in Lady Grey's old house. So, look at that. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, I don't know how I missed that. I'm usually pretty aware about this type of stuff, but... Oh, well. Oh. There we go. Okay. But yeah, this one's also a silver key. With this one, we'll be we'll be fine for the rest of the game. I can actually start going getting those... I'm missing, like, I think, two or three silver chests, I think, right now, as, as we are now. There's, like, one in Headsman's Hill that we forgot to open. Well, I didn't have the keys at the time, but after we beat Thunder, we go through that demon door and get that silver chest. And then there is the one in the guild hall. I think that's it, except for the stuff at the uh, epilogue, all that. Haha! <laughs> it took it. It gave this key gave me a lot of trouble. Who knew keys were trouble? All right. And then let's leave. What do we got? No, we got one more area. I guess I could have teleported to a. Uh, because uh, I just need to go to uh, Bowerstone or not Bowerstone uh, what's that place before Oakvale that like that just that small area before you go into Lady Grey's house Actually, this will give me a recall point anyway so uh, Barrowfields that's it that's where I need to go I mean I, yeah all I'd have to do is run across this area to get there but Save us a few seconds. So, and then we can go inside Lady Grey's house. Oh, we can actually uh, kind of forward, go through... Uh, we can also kind of forward uh, the, the next part of that uh, finding out Lady Grey is evil quest, even though we clearly know she is. I mean, when we remarry the lady. We kind of know our wife just a bit better. All right. Yeah, he's here. We uh, I forgot. Um, the one guy said to talk to this dude. Who are you? Who's there? Amanda. 
Yes, of course, I knew her. I think about her all the time. She was so beautiful, so pure. Well, if you like her so much, why don't you marry her? Sister oh. would find out about us and use it against her, stop her from becoming mayor. I'm no noble after all. Well, now with that attitude. So we'd meet in secret in the Grey House cellar. I would sneak out to the stables and flash my lamp three times to let her know I was there. One night, she didn't come out, and I found the cellar door locked. That's her surprising. sister, Elvira, Lady Grey as she's now known, told me she had died of some terrible illness. Then the house was abandoned, and I never even got to... I'm sorry. It's too painful to talk about. Well, let me play, play the smallest violin in the world. But her name's Elvira? I thought it was a... Well, I th if it was Elvira? Now that's hot. If you don't know who Elvira is, go look her up. Even at her current age, she still looks good. I don't care what anyone says. Anyway, what, you try to dare talk bad about Lady Grey? Whack! Ow! So, you married a serpent and turned into a snake. I was bad before I married her, dude. Yeah, fortunately the game won't let you kill him because he's a quest line. Stop it! Why must you and your awful wife keep tormenting me? Because it's fun. Ouch! Did Lady Grey send you to finish off the job? Nah, I just like Ow. punching people. Stop it! Alright. Yeah, the game won't let me kill him. And now if we talk to him again... It's only a matter of time before Lady Grey gets bored of you. Then, hack! Off comes your head. Nah, I'll probably finish her off first anyway, so... But yeah, if we want to continue that quest, I'm not gonna do that quite yet. I don't know. Well, I really should continue the Lady Grey quest, but... I don't know. I just want to have Lady Grey as my wife just a little bit longer. Really, you're only supposed to complete this if, you, if you're if you good. A good line here, because... I mean, even if you're good and, you know, you know she's bad, you should marry her anyway just to... Or even if you're playing a... You know, a hero that's into the was it? What's the term they used to say? Confirmed bachelor. You should do it because you don't have to. You don't have to. You know, have sex with her. So it's not like, you know. Uh, but anyway, you could uh, do it basically just for the axe you get from the demon door. I mean, that's it. I mean, just I, to then divorce her or whatever afterwards. There you go. Even if you're good or bad. But anyway, if we want to complete the quest, we have to flash our lamp, lamp uh, here, but we're not going to do that. Not yet, anyway. I'll come back later. But anyway, uh, another silver key in that area is... Where is it? It's like over here. I don't know how I missed... I could have swore I got this one, too. Maybe that was from an old file, and I forgot to reload it. Or I, maybe, I, maybe I reloaded an old file and thought I grabbed it on screen. I was just looking over my notes for, for silver stuff, uh, silver keys. I'm like, I could have swore I grabbed all those keys. But, you know, for completion purposes, obviously, you go re go through old areas just to make sure you did actually do it. Like, editing and all that stuff. But... Alright, anyway. We actually have, like I said, we have plenty of keys, but... Um, but anyway, yeah, if we want to get closer to that quest, we just use our lamp that we got from the guild to... Uh, to uh, over. I think you just have to do it on the cellar, but to complete, uh, complete it, to continue on with that one. But basically, we only want to finish this quest if we want to basically get rid of Lady Grey as, as your wife, or or want to turn her in for being, a, or if you're a good guy, turn her in. Technically, story-wise, I probably shouldn't do it. It's not like you get any crazy re good reward for doing it either, so. Although, I mean, I should do it for completion's sakes. But the problem is, is that, like, I'm not really playing a good character, and there's a whole other, well, I wouldn't say there's a huge difference for being good in the game, other than slight Obviously, like, like story reasons and all, or, or not, not actually, not even story reasons, more like just overall setting. Because the story doesn't really play any differently, whether you're good or bad, for the most part. Um, there are, like I said, there are a few different, like, talking points. Like, Jack of Blades, like, uh, praises you and shows you through the Hall of Heroes when you kill Whisper, for example, if you're good. I think he still shows you some things, but it's not... He's, like, more disappointed in you and little things like that, you know. Uh, oh, yeah, I forgot I had a rent here. Rent? Rent? You got to rent? Anyway, uh, if I remember correctly, the armor shop guy has the items I want here. If if they're... 
I'm not opening this. We'll have to wait. Actually, can I just go on in? No one's watching. Or no one's here yet. Hopefully I can unlock this before I get caught. Oh. Now his shop's open. Great. It's like a... If I hurry, I could probably steal one of these items. If, if he comes through that door, I can see him. Uh-oh, he's coming. Hurry up. Hurry up. Steal. Steal. Yes. I mean, this isn't what I wanted, but I'm going to steal it anyway, so... Is he about to come in? Oh, no, it's a guard. Hey, shops are open. Hey, shops are open, dude. No, I don't. All right, I'm getting out of here. All right, we'll come back later. There is an important quest card at the guild for you. Anyway, there's... If I... Basically, if I just, like, leave and come back, the thing will reset. Dude, sh you said shops were open. Okay, technically, he hadn't opened his shop yet. Oh, detail, details. All right, anyway, if we leave and come back, it'll just reset the, uh, the thing. Or if you somehow hide out in town somewhere and wait for that alarm thing to disappear. I think I showed that in a previous episode, but... Anyway, yeah, I'm just... Pulling that time, but anyway, this the shop here in a uh, shop here in um, uh, Oakvale has the bright chainmail armor, which I need to open the door. So, uh, so we'll go ahead and buy that. If I it really comes down to it, I'll try to find the rest of the keys. But as is, we're pretty good. Um, like I said, I think I have an idea of where the last couple of keys are. I think they're like in. Uh, no, I'm. So <sighs> Come on, guys, let me alone. I'm going to start killing you, by the way, if you don't... I could swear leaving and coming back is supposed to reset the, the thing. Let's do that again. I may have to teleport out of here and come back later. Because I've done it before. I've left a place and then come back and it's reset. So, maybe I just have to give it a few moments. Sorry, this isn't... A, I'll, I'll admit this probably isn't one of my least prepared episodes. That's kind of how, how I feel for these... That, like little fi final bits whenever I'm ending any type of game I always feel like I'm kind of like trying to scramble to see if I can uh, clear out any last little bits although I'll admit that hasn't stopped me from finishing the series before but not 100 percenting it but I don't know I feel like this one because I I you know janked around a lot and spent a lot of time on silly things I feel like I I did find at least a good deal of it before are, are you kidding me we are you are not resetting like I want you to. Oh, are you gone now? Thank you. Yeesh. Alright. That must have been a glitch of the game. Let's get some evil points. <laughs> By eating a chicken! Alright, anyway, now we can go to the shop. Yeah, I'll probably buy the stuff from him, but oh, well, whatever. Hello, dude. Hey, you're gonna sell me some crap. I need that bright chainmail armor so I get through that you. door. Actually, what's your one item you got? Oh, pff, I don't need those. I hardly augment my clothes anyway. Alright, I need bright chain mail. This isn't the best price I could get, but for... Because I just want to open that door, we're just going to go ahead and do that. Alright, bright chain mail. We just need to put this on for... I don't know why I can't buy it as a suit. Because I... there, He's got one of everything, so... Yeah, I probably could have stolen all that, but I'm fine with that. Let's uh, put on that outfit. Bright chainmail should be should be the complete set, right? It's scary, huh? Weird. All right. Anyway. Yeah. Remember, goodbye, pimp hat. At least for a while. Shop was a lot in stock. All right. We need to go to. Oh wait, no, I don't, why, I don't need to teleport from here. I don't want to lose my recall anyway. Let's just go to the gate thing here. We need to teleport to Twin Blades. I think we'll call it an episode after that. And then uh, next time we'll complete that Assassin's Quest we uh, I started a long time ago. I finally figured out how to do it. Uh, let's see, Twin Blades camp. The demon door, I think it's right before you fight uh, him. Or, or no. Oh, wait, no, it's back. So we should be able to just go in the previous area and then open it. So, And after that, we'll be done with the demon doors except for the epilogue. Because so. I've opened all the other doors as far as I remember. So, 
But yeah, I'll try to try to finish the Assassin's Quest as well as gaining the rest of the chests. Yeah, if we go back here, the abandoned road, I think, is where that demon door is. So. Yeah, definitely. Cleanup episodes are definitely not the smoothest. I think even anyone who does those. Obviously, if I was actually good at this, you know. Well, I think if I got paid to do this, I think I'd put a lot more effort into how I edit my videos and stuff like that. But the, the point that I do this um, for my own time means I don't want to put. I want to put not a whole lot of effort uh, that. Oh, you're not one of them, are you? My eyesight's not what it used to be. Wait, a stone guy can look, Well, I guess if his eyes got filed down or whether One is. was a gallant knight. His plate armor was so shiny. Probably what did my eyes in. Then there was an evil mage. Wore the darkest magical robes you ever saw. Which is dark will. So he got the bright, bright plate mail or chain... It is supposed to be bright chain mail, isn't it? Let me double check. I might have to go to the next episode for that if I... Let's see. It is... I just have to look it up really quick. Uh, bu -bu -bu. Where is it? It's supposed to be here. Let's see. Bright. It's supposed to be... Oh, I have chain mail, don't I? It's not bright plate. Nuts. Okay. Well, I can't finish this one today. Then I'll do it. I could have swore it's bright the chain mail. Where is the gallant... Okay. Never mind. Well, sorry, folks. I must have mis uh, mislooked. Because it's supposed to be bright plate. Not... I don't think I have bright plate yet. No... Uh, from, uh, you know what, I must have misread. I think, I think I had to go to, like, the Hook Coast and a bunch of places to complete that set, so. Alright, I think, sorry, I was looking at my notes for that, so. Alright, well, I think we played long enough. In the next episode of Fable the Lost Chapters, we'll continue to finish off the last little bits of the game, like chests. Uh, maybe not the rest of the Silver Key, since I've got plenty of that, but, and try to get past this door. I'll, if I find Bright Plate, I'll let you know where I get it from, so, uh, alright. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.